This show me is for Module 2, Math Module 2, Lesson 3. In this lesson, there are three concepts that will be explored. The first one is taking problems from word form to numerical expressions. Now the first example of this is in the um, problem set number one. It asks us to draw a model and then write the numerical expression from the word form that they give us. So the word form that they give us for A is the sum of 8 and 7 doubled. So I'm going to use a tape diagram. Some means I have to add. Doubled means there's two. So I'm going to make my tape diagram into two pieces. And in one of them, I'm going to do 8 plus 7. So this would be taking the sum of 8 plus 7 and doubling it, or times 2. So the expression would be 8 plus 7 is what we have to do first, so we put parentheses around it, and then we multiply that sum by 2. A second example would be B, where it asks us to find 4 times the sum of 14 and 26. So again, a tape diagram. This time, 4 times tells me I'm going to multiply it, to multiply it by 4. So I'm going to divide my tape diagram into 4. And each one of them will be the sum of 14 plus 26. So I can write 14 plus 26 and then that sum I would multiply by 4. Or I could use 4 times 14 plus 26. I would add the 14 and 26 first because it's in the parentheses and then multiply that product by 4. Both of these expressions would give you the right answer because of the commutative property saying you can switch, switch the way the numbers are written. A third example would be in the problem of three times the difference three times the difference between thirty seven point five. 24.5. On a tape diagram this time, the three times tells me I'm going to break it into three, and the word difference tells I'm going to be subtracting. So it's going to be a subtraction problem of 37.5 minus 24.5. Don't let this word and confuse you and, and, and add just means between this number and this number, the difference. So you have to do 37.5 minus 24.5, and that difference is multiplied 
by 3. So it would be written as this, 3 times the difference of 37.5 and 24.5, or 37.5 minus 24.5, and then that difference multiplied by 3. The second concept taught in Lesson 3 is taking the numerical expression and converting it back to word form. So it's numerical expression, turning that into word form. So again, we'll go to our problem set and we'll go to question number two, and it gives us an expression of 12 times 5 plus 25. Then it asks us for the word form, and the word form would be exactly what you're doing, which is 12 times the sum of 5 and 25. So it's telling me to do 5 and 25 first, which is 30, and then we we'll multiply 30 times 12, which I know 12 times 3 is 36, and 10 times more is 360. So that would be the answer for 2a. It gives us the numerical expression, we change it into word form, and then we solve it. Let's try another one. The next one they give us is in parentheses 62 minus 12 times 11. So in this case we want to know 11 times the difference of 62 and 12. So the difference between 62 and 12 is 50, and 50 times 11, 5 times 11 is 55, so 50 times 11 would be 550. So in this case, it would be 550. Another example of taking the numerical expression converting it to word form, and then solving the expression. Okay, now the third concept taught in Lesson 3 is the comparing of expressions in word form and numerical form. And in, and in the cases we could, in most cases, uh, make a comparison without even solving the problem just by looking at the information that they give us. Let me give you an example. So in question 3a, they're giving us two numerical expressions of 24 times the sum of 20 plus 5, and they want us to compare it to the sum of 20 plus 5, times 12. When I look at this, in both cases they're taking the sum of 20 plus 5, and in the, the case on the left side over here, they're multiplying that 24 times. On the case on the right, they're multiplying it 12 times. Well, of course the number on the left is going to be greater than the number on the right because it's multiplying it by twice as much, 24 times compared to 12 times. Now in the second problem, they're giving us a numerical expression on one side and the word form on the other side and they want us to compare it. So in this one it's 18 times 27 on the left side and they want us to compare it to 20, 
27th minus 127th. So the right side is saying 20 27ths, that's 20 times 27, minus 1 27. So I know I'm going to have the 20 minus the 1, so I'm going to have 19 times 27. And over here on the left side, I have 18 times 27. So 18 times 27 is going to be less than 20 times 27, minus 1 times 27, which would be in my head I know is 19 27s. So that would make sense there. And the last, uh, last one I'm going to show you is C, where they give the expression of 19 times 9 on the left side, and they want us to compare to three 19s tripled. So they want to do 3 times 3 times 19. And in this case, I know that they're going to be equal. Because 3 times 3 is 9, so I know I'm going to have 9 times 19, which is the same as 19 times 9. So in this case, it will be equal.